apologies for any inconveniences caused because my microphone kind of drifts in and out of being able to pick up my voice. This is because the game was set quite low for the recording of a voiceover for a previous video uh, and I didn't turn it back up again, so I apologise for that in advance. Hey everyone, welcome to another Almost a Pro Pilot video. In today's video, we're going to be going over the latest PTFS update. So, uh, as you could probably see, the first update to this game is there's now rain, slash weather as they call it, but it's just rain. Right. There are three stages of rain. Uh, there is light rain, which is what's going on now, if you can still see it, but probably it's gone. There is heavy rain, and there is thunder and lightning. Uh, and they have also done a few special stuff with the planes as well. Um, this really takes me back to a couple of years ago. Um, it's the first time they've re-added this feature into the game. Now, if I go to the Boeing 777, you could probably tell all of the airline names are different. As you can see, you've got um, Singador Airlines, Air Old Zealand, OTAR, Korean Air, uh, Americano Airlines. Now that's because the delivery seems the same until you uh, zoom out and see they've actually re-added the names of the airline onto the plane. Now, um, that is an interesting update this, because this hasn't been a feature of the game for a few years now, and um, this is actually a really welcome feature in my opinion, I quite like it. Although it does mean that on the call signs, all of the different uh, call signs are now the fake airline job and the real one, or not the real one, yes it was the real one. So, um, which I suppose is fair enough, uh, copyright and everything, you don't really want to be doing that. They did have a, they did have an issue with that a few years ago, but they still have the original airline names in. Uh, and the airline names are uh, the same on every airline for every plane. So if you go for like a uh, Airbus A350, for example, and you go to like a British Airlines, A3, or British Airways A350, sorry, it will be, I think, Britain Airlines, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, and it'll be also be Britain Airlines on the Triple Seven, for example, A320. So it's the same for every airline. However, they've only got 22 airlines in the game, and they're going to be adding all the rest of them in in the next update. So, for example, if I go to Fly B, you see it doesn't have its name on it. This one I'm quite excited for, actually. And uh, yeah, on to the. I'm not going to. Sorry, <laughs> I'm not going to try find some really bad weather since so. Don't turn any private servers anymore uh, to be able to uh, touch on camera. Now, uh, I think I have caught the game a little bit off guard as I've been AFK texting. Um, and they've done the feature a tad bit wrong. It seems like this is heavy rain, but uh, it's inside of the airport as well, which they really should fix. There should, like, I feel like between the rain and the building, there should be contact. So it's uh, realistic. I mean, you can. I kind of see the spray coming off the roof, but then it goes inside? I, I don't know. So this seems to be the uh, heavy rain one. Although there really should be rainbows in the game, actually. Since, um, well, as you can see, it's sunny out and it's raining like mad. Um, but yeah, I believe it will go, for example, thunder and lightning, then heavy, then light, and it will stop. Which would be a cool feature. I think, uh, let's test this now, actually. I'm at Orangey, Orange. If I respawn at Greater Rockford, let's see. Is it raining? It is. I feel like that should be improved on. There should be a feature where the weather like swoops across the map, and there's like a bit of a um, like a front, and it swoops across the map, and it's like randomised at the speed and the severeness of it. Oh, thunder and lightning! You just saw a lightning strike. Oh wow. Okay. Um, I feel like. It looks like heavy rain, but it's not, so that's weird. There should definitely be more clouds. So this feature could most definitely be improved on. I'm not saying it's perfect, I'm not saying it's uh, not perfect, but it could definitely be improved on. So, uh, anyways, that's all from me for today. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.